One of the top things that separates good players from god players is how well they can implement movement techniques into their gameplay. Everything in Apex can be used in some form to your advantage and movement is the best example of that. Being able to walk up to a box and super glide off of it or tap straight from an octane pad is not just fun but a great way to skyrocket yourself into a new skill tier. So hello everyone, I'm your hostess with the most this 8 second gaming and in today's video I'm going to be going over movement fun fundamentals you have to start adding to your game. This will be going over stuff for both controller and mouse and keyboard and if there's one that controller can't do I will be making it known. So let's start things off and for this we need to break down some simple keybinds you should add to make things a lot easier. This is for mouse and keyboard but if you want to make your life a lot simpler you need to make a secondary bind for walk and jump. These being scroll wheel up and scroll wheel down. I personally have jump set to scroll wheel down and W set to scroll wheel up. Up. This is just what works for me, try both out and see what's best for you, play around with things, see what feels right for you. We will talk more about why these are important in the near future when we go over certain techniques but I wanted to get them out of the way first. And now we can start covering our first movement technique and that is the basic slide jump. This is the foundation for a lot of other movement. But this also helps you a lot in game with simply getting around the map faster and not being as easy of a target to shoot. In order to do a slide jump you start running. Slide to give you a boost in speed, and before you start to lose momentum on the slide, you jump and go back and start running again. Now that we have that covered though, let's add one extra layer on top of it. Start your slide, but don't let go of crouch or jump back up. Instead, start doing what's called a B hop or bunny hop, where you continue to hold crouch and repeatedly hit jump. As you do this, you move your mouse or joystick in the direction you want to go while holding W and the matching side key. Sounds like a lot, and it can be confusing at first, but let's break it down. Say I want to bunny hop to the left. I'll start running, slide, hold crouch, A and W, A because I want to go to the left, and I'll hit jump over and over. This is where the scroll wheel keybind comes in handy, because if you have one set to jump you can just scroll wheel and not have to time your jumps. But if your controller as you land from one bounce to another you have to time the next one. It is harder, but put the time in the firing range and you'll be able to hit this almost every single time. If you want to change directions you can mid bunny hop, you just have to start holding D and not A, or vice versa if you want to go the opposite direction. Just just before we move on though guys, if you are enjoying things so far, please help us out by dropping a like on the video. Also if you want to become a better Apex player and want daily highly educational videos then go ahead and hit that sub button and ring the bell to be notified when we post a new video. But now let's dive back into things with a super glide. This is where you come up to a box or some form of wall and you climb it and as you hit the top of it you slide and get sent flying with full speed. In theory this one's very simple, you just climb the wall and as you finish your climb at the pinnacle of the animation you you hit crouch and jump at the same time. You don't have to hold them, just tap them. Doing this properly, you should be sent flying forward into your super glide. If you're having a hard time learning it, don't worry, just keep at it and things will come over time. Another slide jump based movement is what's known as a wall bounce. These are probably one of the easier techniques for mouse and keyboard because of the scroll wheel bind, it makes things a lot more consistent. For the wall bounce, all you want to do is be near a wall high enough. Usually this is about the same height or taller than your character. You then slide diagonally towards the wall jump, and once your character makes contact with the wall, jump again and look at the direction you want to go. For controller, once again you have to get the timing down for when you hit the wall and when you jump. It's not too hard to get and once you get it the first time, it'll just click. For mouse and keyboard, after you slide jump, just spam your scroll wheel and you'll be fine. Once you get the hang of this though, you'll start to be able to hit it on very small targets like lamp posts and other stuff. You'll even be able to open a door, wall bounce off it in one smooth motion once you get the timings down. Now this one's for mouse and keyboard players only and it's called tap strafing. This is where you have your W key bound to a scroll wheel. You are basically abusing the amount of inputs the scroll wheel can make and allowing you to basically break the game engine. For this, when you do your slide jump, after you slide then jump, let go of W and hit the key in the direction you want to go, like D for right or A for left. You then scroll in one smooth motion and look the direction you want to go. Your character will turn without losing any momentum and can lead to you being able to pull off some nasty jukes. Once you are able to tap strafe, you can weave it into other stuff such as octane jump pad, where when you're mid-air you hit the double jump then immediately do the same steps for tap strafing and you'll be able to fully control what way you want to go. You can also then throw them in with wall bounces being able to bounce off in a new direction extremely quickly and catch unsuspecting enemies off guard. You can even tap strafe on zip lines, but we will cover that more in a little bit. Tap strafing is cool and a lot of fun to pull off, but what if you want to do something weirder and a lot more complex? Then do what's called a redirect. This is basically a tap strafe 
save without the tapping, you just redirect your momentum. So let's say for this you want to redirect to your left, you then start a slide jump, as you jump hit A, S and D in that order. At the same time of pressing those you look in the opposite way of what side you want to go to, so in this case you're going to be looking to the right. Your body will then be sent flying and you've just landed a redirect. Reverse the order and direction you look for the opposite side. So instead of ASD, you hit DSA and look to the left and your body will be sent to the right side. But now let's talk about zip lines and to start things off with a zip super jump. This is where you stand under the zip line, hit interact and then almost instantly after you hit jump. There is a window of forgiveness but it is very small so you have to play with the timing. Doing so will result in you going very high up into the air. You can also do this on a vertical zip line and it's how players like Asu are able to go up floor so quickly. These can be done on both mouse and keyboard and controller but for the most keyboard players you can actually tap strafe off a super jump so you can go from one floor to another in certain zip buildings with only one jump and it's a very smooth motion and once again for mouse and keyboard players if you have jumps set to a scroll wheel you can hit your interact key and scroll wheel down almost exactly the same time and it will hit it very consistently and the last one I saved is called zip dancing people have other names for it though and it's kind of gone out of style because respawn did nerf this a few patches ago and now you can only grab back onto a zip line three times in rapid succession before it kicks you off. But for this, you'll want to walk or run up to a zip line. I find it easier if you look up, do a super jump off the vertical zip, quickly 180, grab back on. Once you touch it, you can then repeat the steps again, jumping off 180 and grabbing back on and so forth. This will get you a lot higher on the zip line than just riding it normally, plus it makes you harder to hit when people are holding floors above you. But that is going to be all for today's video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and learned a new technique. Movement is a lot of fun and it's what makes Apex really unique. These movements are super straightforward in principle, but if you are able to master them and be able to pull them off in game, you'll be able to flex on so many people and hit amazing clips while doing it. Once again though, if you guys enjoyed the video, and I'm assuming you did if you've made it this far, please drop a thumbs up, it really does help us out. And don't forget to smash that sub button to be notified when we post new videos. We do daily, highly educational Apex Legends content you won't want to miss out on, so ring that bell to be notified when a new video drops. Thank you for watching, once again, I'm 8 Second Gaming and I I will see you in the next one.